the best night's sleep. I completely missed my 7 a.m. bar class. I'm gonna go for a walk instead to kind of wake myself up. I need to, when the shop's open, get some deodorant because I forgot that. And then I have a food order coming at 10.30, so I've got quite a while until then. And yeah, just carry on getting things together before I have to go out this afternoon and go and do some work. It's also nine degrees out there, which is freezing i don't know why these are in here to be honest what do you think to my new well newish now i've had them maybe a month or so i got the white ones as well and oh they're just the best thing ever i also got the notification that the paint for my bedroom is being delivered today which is very exciting i really didn't think it was going to arrive this quickly but it has and i'm very happy about it this is the sleeping situation but it's gonna look so good in here when it's all painted look i'm literally sleeping on an air mattress and i still have my this works pillow spray that is is just the height of luxury, isn't it? Let's be honest. I have somehow already done like 8,000 steps. I just ended up taking all my calls this morning out on my walk and it was just phenomenal. But this morning's job, I say this morning's job, one of them, we're going to descale the kettle. I'm basically going to try and get as much like housey stuff done before I go out to my things this afternoon. We have this sachet of oust. Let's do that. I'm thinking maybe I need to put my Nutribullet things in that cupboard down there because if my Nutribullet's gonna be there, I feel like that makes sense. Where do I put these? Maybe these go here. So I'm currently waiting for my Ocado order to arrive. Oh, I bought this from TK Maxx maybe a month ago. So I have a ton of pink swell bottles and I saw this one. And this is meant for like soup and things. I thought it was really cool. My scissors were in the bag that I forgot. My food order's here. I am so excited to eat. Let me give you a haul. So, this is the most random food order ever, okay? It was just a ton of things that I fancied at the time. So, we'll see if there's actually anything to make a meal. I got some yogurt. I love this. I also got some heck chicken sausages. I've been told I need to try these, but I never have. So, I thought now was a perfect time to order them. Some butter, of course. Soya, no sugar. Ready for when I get my coffee machine here, which I'm going to get at the weekend. Some Linda McCartney things. I've never tried their mozzarella burgers, but I've heard they're unbelievable. And some of their sausages, they're the best. I really like normal sausages, but if I can make the switch and get these, they taste just as good. And then chicken gyoza, love them. And then I got some chopped garlic to keep in the freezer as well. Oh, some Dale's with chicken broth. I was never an Ocado shopper. And then I discovered everything you could get on Ocado. And I was like, oh my goodness. So I got some of the Dalesford organic chicken bone broth with ginger and greens. I have my slow cooker here so I can make my own broth now. But I just thought for now, that's a really nice warming thing to have. I got my Clarence Court Burford Brown. You won't catch me with any other eggs in my fridge unless it's the M&S brown eggs. They are really good as well. But these are just literally the best eggs in the whole entire world. And I eat so many eggs. And then I think the rest is just like cupboard things. So I got some plain white flour, soft light brown sugar. You'll notice there's pretty much everything here to make cookies and cookie dough. Tuna, such an easy snack. I will literally just eat a whole tin of tuna as a snack. Ketchup, because I love ketchup with anything and everything. Got some finely chopped tomatoes, because I just thought one day, whilst, you know, I'm still getting myself set, set up. But even right now, I can just have chop tomatoes, crack some eggs into it in the oven and I'll make like a shakshuka. I've got some frozen garlic, you know, fine. Quick and easy. They didn't send my bread. I ordered bread and then they said they didn't have any so I picked a substitution and it's not here. Oh, I was gonna have toast with eggs. I got some chia seeds to have with like my yogurt and like overnight oats. I've never really been a chia seed eater but then when I was having a lot of acai bowls when I was away, I was eating a lot of chia seeds and really liked them. From Hotel What's It, my favorite. They finally brought them back and I actually was, this is so embarrassing. This is perks of the job. I was one of the first people in the country to have them because uh, what, what Walkers did, they went back on Twitter and they found everyone that had been tweeting about Prom Cocktail What's It and then they were like replying to all the tweets like, oh my goodness, things are coming. And then I got an email being like, hi Emily, like you haven't shut up about these. Would you, would you like to be one of the first? <laughs> So, 
really cool. I just wish they weren't giant because they get all stuck in your teeth. I mean, I still love them, but I quite like the mini ones as well. I got some mint chocolate. I love to have this on my porridge. And like in the evening, I have a real sweet tooth and just a square of this is amazing. I got some hotel chocolate, carving the pumpkin milk chocolate shapes. I want to make some brownies and put these on top for Halloween. And I don't know if you can see, but they're all different kind of Halloween shapes. I thought they were really fun. And then just the essentials, you can get M&S and Ricardo. So I got the crunchy peanut butter, which is oh, my favorite peanut butter in the world. And then I also got this Mami Life peanut butter. It's a rich cocoa one. M has this and it is just amazing. Anytime I'm at her house, I'm like, I'm going to turn like a spoon of that, please. That is everything. There was supposed to be some sourdough, but I guess they ran out. And it means I can't now have peanut butter on toast or eggs on toast, which is what I was expecting to have. It may be a bit of a throw together breakfast. I mean, I could have like sausages and eggs. It doesn't really sound very fun, does it? Or I could have, <laughs> no, this is not a fun breakfast. The jar broke of the peanut butter. So I just decided to depot everything. And I just think it looks absolutely adorable. So funny. These cupboards need sorting out like crazy. Look at this. This is kumquat liqueur that we got in Greece. So I got the kumquat liqueur and I also got some olive oil that I brought back. And I was saying in the other vlog that I was like, one day I'll be able to have it. And I got that tzatziki spice as well. So now I actually can, it's very exciting, but I need to sort out these pantry cupboards. These are gonna be the most exciting because I'm thinking I'll have like most of the stuff I use all the time here. And then like bits and bobs at the bottom. I don't actually know, maybe I do my baking stuff at the top. I'm gonna to put all the flour in here, but I need to get some fairy liquid to wash them out by hand. So I think they'll look really nice stood up, but I need to get a couple more because I obviously have my so I have raisin flour, plain flour, then I have bread flour. And then in the smaller ones, I'm gonna put like my spelt. And this is rice flour, just for kind of bread making. So they should be okay in like, you know, small ones. Even my more niche flours I can have in perhaps here. There's another one at the bottom. So maybe I can do like my rice flour and stuff in here. Yeah, I did bring my, <laughs> they're in this grind tin, my sourdough thing. So I've got like my lime in here and other random bits and bobs. So I'm gonna get this diffuser out. It's from a uh, an apothecary it's red cedar and they have these at flannels and they have these at house of fraser i'm not entirely totally sure where else they have them but they also have them occasionally if you're lucky at tk maxx and this red cedar scent is just lovely i do have a terrible history with reed diffusers i'm not gonna lie i've ruined a couple pieces of furniture but Cute. I mean, it feels like a terrible idea to put it on here, doesn't it? It should be out, out of reach. It should be out of the way where I can't knock it. But for now, it's going there. I am going to be back and it's halfway off. This is a Bath and Body Works candle. It's in the shade Halo Paolo Santo. Mm, so good. It smells just like their incense candle that they stopped doing, which was really upsetting. But maybe they'll start it again. But I need to uh, need to do the Bath and Body Works. Hold oh my gosh. I, I think I'm gonna try and be in the US for Black Friday this year. So I want to do a big Bath and Body Works Black Friday haul and get some candles for like the rest of the year, which just excites me so much. I actually have a box full of them in my storage unit, but they're not my favorite ones. They're ones that I obviously bought years ago, not knowing much about the brand. And now I obviously have favorites. So I want to get some different ones. Oh, how nice is this that we could just stand and chat? Oh. It's funny because I'm texting my friend right now sorting out what we're doing this afternoon and then I got an email that I have to go to this thing tomorrow morning and it's like it's in East London so I just can whereas if I was at my mom's and I got that email today telling me I had to be in East London at 10 a.m. tomorrow morning I to get there for 10 a.m. would either have to get a train that will cost me like 60 pounds one way or 90 pounds return or I'd have to get up at maybe five to beat the traffic and then i'm spending like three hours in well not three maybe two and a half hours that time of day in my car so that's two and a half hours i'm not sleeping two and a half hours i'm not working two and a half hours i'm not you know on a morning walk like oh this just has changed my life i've just come back from the sky bridge i went to get some work done and i need to get ready to head out but i forgot my makeup <laughs> So I'm gonna have to go to my, I've got a meeting and then an event and then a dinner. Um, fresh faced. Now here's the question. This is something that's been a topic of conversation recently with like within my friend group, just something that we've been talking about. Is it unprofessional to not wear makeup in the workplace? So 
Obviously, we all do different jobs. In what I do, I can turn up to a meeting wearing pretty much whatever I want to wear as long as I look put together. So, I mean, obviously not, you know, within reason. Like, I can, I can wear something that maybe in some jobs you'd only wear on the weekend and not at work. In kind of creative industries, you can, you know, get away with that. But if I'm dressed like that, really put together, but I have no makeup on, is that unprofessional? Let me know, in your job, is not wearing makeup unprofessional. But I'm gonna go and get changed and I'm gonna have to compensate for not wearing makeup somehow. I might wear all black. <laughs> I just feel like that will fix it. If any of you are even gonna try and tell me that I have too many clothes on and I'm gonna be too warm, I do not want to hear it. I hate being cold, I've layered. I've got a long sleeve t-shirt on, I've got this gorgeous dress which is, I think it's Zara actually. It's Zara and other stories. Let me look. It's from years ago. I think it's Zara. And then putting on this H&M coat, which is my fave black coat ever. It, I don't know, like I went through loads of them. I ordered a ton from Mango and where else? I think I even tried now and other stories one. It just cut off at a really weird length. And this Zara coat just literally ticked every box. So I've got my little Burberry scarf that has my initials on it somewhere, EVC. And yeah, this is what I'm gonna wear. And I don't know if you can even notice that I've got no makeup on. Hopefully not, hopefully no one will see. I don't even have any fake tan that I can put on my face to try and make it look like, you know, I'm tanned. But <laughs> it is what it is. So I've got my Gorge coach bag and this is the look. <laughs> This is a look. Check out my outfit video. <laughs> look what just got delivered. This is the paint for the bedroom. I, again, did not think this was going to arrive this quickly, so I'm very happy. Everything seems to be coming in like really great time. I've just been waiting for my video to export. It is done, so let's go. I just don't want to you. <laughs> Today. We have come to the H&M showroom and we're surrounded by beautiful clothing, beautiful homeware and, snacks. and chocolate. <laughs> this is, I can never say it and I have to read it to say it. I always, just call it. I always just call it Tony's, but it's not Tony's, is it? Have you tried the Ben & Jerry's Club yet? No, have you? I've not seen it anywhere. I saw oh, it on no. TikTok, I've not seen it in real life. I saw it on a cardo and I didn't get it and I should have gotten it. Okay, I might need to buy it on a cardo. Well, we oh need to God, try it. three Tony's chocolate I need left because we eat <laughs> what are you trying on? I don't know, but I need to try something on. We went to Grind and I got a, well, an oat flat white. Look, oh, you can see the fit now. So cool. Can I just try some stuff on? Yeah, what are you thinking? Honestly, I feel like h and smashed this time of year. Wear. That's gorgeous, the purple skirt. Really nice. The problem is I don't wear purple. I'm a bit funny about purple. Really? Purple just isn't. It doesn't <gasps> Look, the bows. Me. These are a bit of you. Oh my god, I love bows. I also really like this vase for my house. That is stunning. H&M Home is honestly insane. I have those boots. I ordered them I to try them on a couple weeks ago. Sale. Have you ever seen the flowers at H&M Home down the road? On Regent, Regent Street. Street. I literally walked past a few minutes ago and I was like, wow, these are nice. They've, they've, nice. they've got a whole florist area at the <gasps> one at Westfield as well, at um, oh, Shepherd Bush. Show us the coat. It's like the perfect dog walking duvet coat. Mm, it's like lovely. you could put it on to just walk around on those really, really, really cold days. Do you know what? You look a bit Molly May esque. <sighs> Is that a compliment? I love her. She's having a baby girl. Is she? I'm not, but she is. She's having a girl? Yes, yeah, she is. I Aww. watched her announcement yesterday. I got so excited. Like, I was screaming from the rooftops. Oh. So we have a very exciting event. We are heading to check out the brand new M&S Food Christmas range, which you know, I do M&S food testing videos very regularly over on my Facebook page and on my TikTok. And I'm very excited to go and see what they've got in for the Christmas season. I'm basically hoping it's a room of little tasters, <laughs> essentially. over on TikTok and my Facebook page, but we conclude the M&S Christmas food. So good. It's honestly so good this year. Oh. I'm home and 
and I am so ruined. I walked 25,400 steps today, half of which, actually 20, maybe 18,000 of which, uh, were in those boots. And oh, they're fine to walk that far in, but my feet just hurt in general from walking 12 miles today. It was a great day. I got to see Em, which was lovely. I got to see a couple of people that I didn't vlog that was, again, really lovely. The m and Christmas food event was just wonderful. I am so excited for the Christmas food to come out. So I did vlog like a little TikTok kind of thing where I try all the food. So if you want to see that, head over to my TikTok. It might be on my Facebook page. Well, it depends how long the video is as to whether it's worth me even making a video out of it on there, but it will definitely be on TikTok. There were some great things. What was really good? They had this like brie thing that was like around, not brie, it was camembert with kind of this like garlic bready thing. You know, like everyone was making last year, but with like, I think people do like puff pastry and things, really cool. They had these cheddar bacon bites. It was like a bacon cup made out of bacon, like mini uh, canapé style with cheddar in the middle, so good. Their desserts, unbelievable. Like, I'm gonna get the health scale to cake. I don't even care. I'm absolutely getting that as soon as it comes out. It's so funny because all of our Christmas food growing up was always M&S and I feel like the desserts were pretty similar every year. And now, obviously, I, I think maybe over the last like five, six years, maybe, maybe even more, companies have become way more creative and doing a lot more kind of fun things. And it's just so cool to see, but I need a shower. I am so, like, it's been that day where you get hot and then cold and hot and then cold and I'm actually quite glad I didn't have any makeup on because I don't know if it would have lasted the entire day. Do you think they've activated my Wi-Fi? Yes! Oh my goodness! I'm on. I'm on. Who needs a sofa when you have Wi-Fi? Oh my goodness, my web page just refreshed. Yes, I'm watching Disney Plus tonight. I've just had the best bath ever. And I've put this new Biosense oil in my hair. This is the Squalane oil. And it's for like hair, body, nails, everything. And, oh, and face. I mean, I'm gonna put some on my nails because my nails always get super dry and then my like nail polish peels off. But yeah, I thought I would try this on my hair today because I've been oiling my hair recently. But I am so unbelievably tired. I'm gonna head off to bed and hopefully you've enjoyed today. It's been a random one, uh, but I will see you in the morning. Tomorrow I need to figure out setting that bed up because I did not have a second today.